Have you ever heard of the so-called Eckenbrecher folding Taube? Anyone interested in strength and aircraft construction as well as the regulations should have heard of it at least once. Around 1912-13 the General Inspectorate of Military Transport decided to order demountable aircraft that could be made mobile in order to improve their ground transportability. Numerous manufacturers complied with the request. After all they wanted to sell their products. Many aircraft manufacturers built special transport vehicles to transport the dismantled aircraft by road. This was also the case with Rumpler. No one had expressed any concerns about aircraft that could be quickly dismantled, neither the manufacturers nor the military technical authorities. When Lieutenant von Eckenbrecher slipped sideways in a steep turn with the Rumpler foldable type aircraft of 1913, he tried to recover the aircraft and one of the folding wings broke off, killing him and his observer, Lieutenant Prince. The result was harsh criticism of the military demand for those folding wing aircraft. Immediately after the accident, all aircraft of the same type were withdrawn from the autumn maneuvers and an investigation was launched. After the autumn maneuvers had ended, the then Inspector General, Lieutenant General von Heinisch, set up a commission to investigate the incident, which concluded that the material of all Rumpler Tauben aircraft was not able to withstand the stresses to which was subjected. What was special about the commission investigation was that for the first time detailed stress tests were carried out to determine the structural strength of the aircraft. These tests involved stressing the aircraft to the point of failure. The tests were carried out on all types of military aircraft in service between September 21st and October 9th, 1913 at Döberitz. Aircraft from Rumpler, Gotha, Albatros, Janine, Fokker were excellent. Remarkably, Fokker's M2 performed best braking at the braking load manifold of 4.5, that is a total load of 4,675 kilograms. Rumpler's folding wing aircraft performed worst, with a safety rating of only 2.5 compared to 3.5 for the fixed wing aircraft version. The final report highlighted Fokker's unusual high strength for the time and quote, exceptionally solid construction of the wing spars, end quote, and their fastenings. Here too we find another small piece of evidence that contradicts the poor reputation of Fokker's aircraft, which has been built up in the literature and constantly being repeated and copied. The investigations conducted in the wake of the Eckenbrecher accident and the results thereof led to the development of the first strength regulations and construction and delivery regulations for army aircraft. Incidentally, the content of the construction and delivery regulations for army aircraft was adopted almost verbatim for aircraft construction regulations from the entire war years, which were also used in large parts by Hans Jacobs and Herbert Lück work workshop practice for the construction of gliders and sailplanes and still serves as reverence material for the construction of wooden aircraft today as do the construction regulations for wooden aircraft that are still valid today. These are by no means state-of-the-art achievements but rather things that have already been developed since 1912-13 and have been perfected up to 1918.